going to try to not spend the entire time talking about politics, uh, but it has been something I've been thinking about all, all week. It's been challenging. Um, thank you, we love, thank you, we love you too. Uh, there were a lot of, I, I was supposed to be, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're a super fancy actor and you come to these conventions, they send a car to pick you up with a driver. <laughs> totally fancy. Makes you feel super important. And I w went downtown to check out that um, march today and had my, uh, had my driver meet me downtown instead of at my house and he was like, oh, all right. And uh, so he came down to pick me up. I told him to pick me up at an intersection that was near where the rally ended. Or so I thought it ended. But turns out it wasn't like an organized thing. It was just a bunch of people marching around the city, making it impossible for you to drive anywhere. <laughs> and uh, he did not take it very well. I was like, look at you know all these people out, you know, exercising their you know God-given right. And uh, and he he was like, this is fucked up my whole life. <laughs> God damn it! Why did you bring me down into the middle of a protest? It was because that's where I was. <laughs> it was convenient. I can go to the protest and have the limo driver pick me up right in the middle of it and be like, ah, see you later, protesters. <laughs> I'm off to work. Uh, didn't work out so well for me. Um, I left him just sitting there, like pounding the steering wheel. I was like, well, dude, you're clearly not getting anywhere. I'm going to get another ride. And I got out. And I was like, <laughs> Um, yes, yes, my, uh, my, uh, four-year-old, I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again because it feels relevant right now. My four-year-old, um, my kids, I've noticed, aren't getting the same questions in their early childhood that I was plagued by when I was a little kid. I remember that grown-ups would always say, how old are you? That was question number two. Question number or question number one. Question number two might be, what's your favorite color? And then they would always ask, which was orange. I was, I always said orange. And then as I grew, grew a little bit older, I, I realized I didn't like orange that much. But since I had like staked out my position as liking orange best, I stuck with it until I was like 15. And then I was like, wait a minute, I haven't liked orange since I was five years old. Why am I still saying orange? <laughs> By the way, nobody asks adults that. What's your favorite <laughs> color? <laughs> Orange. <laughs> um, so, and then the third question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? And my my kids never get that question. I used to get it all the time, and I would say, I want to be a, I want to be a train engineer, uh, or an astronaut, or a beautician, or whatever. You know, I, and I changed that with the winds. Um, but someone, so I, I I decided I would take it upon myself to pick up the slack. Or, the rest of the uh, adult universe seems to have dropped the ball, and I asked my daughter, what, what do you want to, I might ask both my kids, what do you, you want to be when you grow up? And um, my son said, I want to be in the Olympics. And I was like, good, that is like solidly, totally unrealistic, that's awesome. <laughs> and my daughter said, when I grow up, I want to vote for Trump. <laughs> No, I put her up for foster care. <laughs> I had to be firm. There's no room for that in my house. Uh, yes. Do you have a question?